Hey everybody, it's Harry from Snappy Daddy Barbecue, the YouTube channel that teaches you how to master barbecue so you can spread barbecue love. A lot of you have asked me to go back and redo that Walmart brisket episode. A lot of folks like to cook using select brisket. I'm inspired after coming back from uh, Tootsie's Snow's Barbecue in Lexington, Texas. I spoke to Clay, who is the pit master there who cooks the briskets, and he confirmed that they use select briskets. So what I have here is a Walmart select brisket. We're gonna cook it a Texas style brisket on a Winnie's Dragon Pit. We're gonna do a collab with Winnie. Since we're doing a cook on a charity event, we're gonna throw this brisket in, see if we can get the same results as we did at Snow's Barbecue. Barong knife. This is uh, from the uh, new series at Dalstrong from the Delta Wolf series. These are warrior inspired knives. Super beautiful purple handle, titanium nitride, Rockwell 60 plus, and uh, very sharp at about 8 to 12 degrees. So we're gonna remove some of the excess fat. This cuts like butter. You can see that. Here's a quick overview of the recipe. We trimmed the brisket and uh, we're gonna make the rub. Show you guys how to make one of my favorite Texas style barbecue rubs. We're gonna use about a half and half regular salt. Notice I don't use kosher salt in this recipe. I have about maybe 45 to 50 different brisket recipes. So I'm gonna show you one of my favorites. I use regular salt. If you are running a catering business or a restaurant, you save money with just regular salt. It works just as well. And I'll explain to you the concept of ionic diffusion later. So uh, one part of salt, regular salt, one part of uh, Costco black pepper. If you want to source this, it's really inexpensive. So showing you guys how to save money, buy products at a good price. We have a little bit of uh, garlic here, a little bit of a teaspoon of white pepper, and uh, just a bit of celery seed. And then I'm going to use a controversial ingredient. Uh, Uncle Roger will be proud of me. I use some MSG, just a little bit for flavoring. If you are allergic, you are the anti-MSG group. Don't post on my video just go away because i use msg and for those of you who eat mcdonald's mcnuggets doritos there's this product in it so it's just a flavor enhancer it's not going to kill you so go watch my msg video if you want to learn more about what this ingredient is but i am going to use it in this particular recipe all right the rub is made and uh here's how it looks like kind of looks like a typical snp texas rub uh we're going to let it sit overnight and rest in the brine then we're going to cook it in the pit. I'm going to drop by and see my buddy, Winnie, of Smoke Queen Barbecue. Kind of put my brisket into her pit since we're doing a little bit of a uh, charity event. We're cooking food for the homeless. And uh, we're going to do a tallow wrap, three hours BTU. And I'm going to do a rest for four hours before we slice into this Walmart brisket to see if I can get a fabulous result. Get a little bit more stir schmear. Start the timer for the process. All right, we're gonna let the brisket rest. Watch the temperature as we monitor it. Make sure that uh, it stays in a safe zone for a few hours. We're at Winnie's place now and Dragon is all fired up. She's ready to go. And uh, we're gonna put our brisket in and give the Walmart brisket a shot. Cooking a select brisket today to see if we can replicate Snow's barbecue. Fantastic tender brisket results. All right, Pitmaster Winnie is going to put the uh, Walmart brisket in for me. Okay. She's very kind and she's uh, you know, got tough biceps. This is a big pit and a big piece of meat here. This is probably a 20, what, 18 pounds or so. It's a pretty big yeah, brisket pretty here. Big. Throw the thing in here. It's really flat. It's uh, going to be fat up on her pit. Oh, okay. almost dropped it. Yeah, there you go. Wow, nice. All right, you get happy. It takes about six hours, seven hours at least. Six, seven hours. Six, seven hours in the sweet spot here mm -hmm. for brisket. Excellent. So you definitely need this to cook briskets here. All right, and we're going to put it in. Automated mechanism, super easy to use. All right, so I'm going to cook it at 275, and then I'm going to hold it at 145. And the timer will be at one and a half hours after that. 
So it means that um, it will cook at 275 for one and a half hours and after that it will automatically go down to 145 which is my holding temperature. So I normally do about two hours or so and that's usually with a cabinet full of brisket. Um, so since I don't have that many briskets today, I just want to check it at one and a half hours. If at one and a half hours I feel that it needs a little bit more time, I can just add another 30 minutes to it. And then how long are you going to hold this thing? I'm going to hold 12, it 15, 15? 12 to 15 hours. So to, actually what I do is take it out at 9 a.m., um, let, let it cool down a little bit um, more because at that time it'll be at 145. Um, you don't want to slice at 145. I feel like uh, all the juice will still spew out. Um, so I like to slice when you can touch it with your hand. So when it's not too hot, but when it's still warm to the touch. So about one hour coming out to rest, mm -hmm. to take it down from 145 down to maybe about 100 or so. Yes, yes. Okay. Yes. All right, you heard it folks. Pitmaster Winnie's secret method to fantastic brisket. So there you go. A hold time is important. A rest time after hold is also important. Well, I'm going to cut out a Walmart one now. Yeah. Jiggly. Mm -hmm. Jiggly, jiggly. Probably. All right. All right, very jiggly. Look at that. A little nice jiggle to the meat here. Let's see how juicy this is. See that? So there's two muscles. The, the brisket muscle is comprised of pectoralis minor, pectoralis major, which is the chest muscle, point and the flat, right? So these are Arnold Schwarzenegger muscles on a cow, <laughs> right? Arnold Schwarzenegger muscles. And don't worry about the grade, just taste it for what you like. Okay guys, so number one was, I'm sure you guys guessed it, um, the Walmart brisket. Oh. Okay. Yeah. So, but it depends on the spice you Walmart get. Walmart Select. Yeah. My yeah. three, I got the flat piece and there was no marbling. You want to know the pricing. So Weenie has written the pricing down. So the Walmart brisket is $60, 18 pounds, two ninety eight a pound. Thanks for stopping by watching my Walmart brisket redo. It looks like I still have a lot of work to do learning how to cook select briskets as well as clay from Snow's Barbecue does. So I may have to just fly out and have Clay teach me in a future episode. Thanks for stopping by. Thanks to my patrons for keeping the lights on on my channel. I will be sure to bring some of this brisket back to Mr. Beans for his taste test. So we'll see you guys in the next video.